everyone, I'm Christine, and today we're going to talk in depth about how to hand off your designs to engineers once they're finalized. I'm going to walk you through an example project. These are the screens that we'll see today, and I'll also share tools that you can use to make this process a lot more efficient. These are the individual screens that are finalized, and I've grouped them into sections based on features, but it's still difficult to see how all the screens relate to one another. As a designer, it's important for me to provide a bird's eye view for my product managers and engineers. And a way to do that is through user journeys and flows. So this is more of what I would show my engineers during a design handoff meeting. I would show them a user flow of how each of these screens are connected to each other and also call out any important requirements, behaviors, and interactions that they need to be mindful of when they're building out their products. Mapping out and documenting all the possible paths, behaviors, and edge cases such as error states and loading states, what that's going to do is it's going to increase team alignment and it's also going to lead to higher quality products. In order to create this map of how each of these screens interact with each other, you're gonna to have to create individual arrows. And if you've done this on Figma, you know that this can actually be very time consuming because Every time you add a different screen, let's say you want to create a login screen instead of a create account screen, then you're gonna have to shift all these screens around and also customize the arrows to connect with all these other screens and resizing these arrows can be a pain sometimes. And so if you want an easier way to create and manage these arrows and maintain the flows, Zeppelin is a great tool to use. Zeppelin is basically a handoff tool where you can publish your final designs and engineers will come in and start building your locked in designs. And they also happen to be the sponsor of today's video. What I've heard from engineers who've used both Zeppelin and other tools is that they prefer Zeppelin because the inspection tool is a lot easier to use than the other ones. On top of that, creating arrows and maintaining your flows is a lot easier on Zeppelin and I'm going to show you exactly how I do mine. First, you're going to have to download the Zeppelin plugin on Figma, and then you're going to select the frames that you want to export onto Zeppelin. You're going to right click and go to plugins, click Zeppelin, and it's going to show you the number of frames that you've selected and you export that to your project. This is a Zeppelin desktop app and I've already exported all the screens that are grouped together into their sections. I also have some flows that I've created already, but we're gonna go to an example feature here, the wish list feature where I haven't created a flow. It's super easy to add all these screens together into a flow. All I'm gonna do is click this button here, add screens to flow, and the screens have been added to the flow. At the very top, you're gonna see a flows tab. We're gonna click on that. And once you click on it, you're gonna see the screens that we just exported. I already have some other flows in here, so we're gonna walk over that in a bit. But first, let's connect these screens together. So arrow creation is really simple on Zeppelin. As you hover over some of these elements, you're gonna be able to just drag and drop these dots and connect them. You can also change the color, so this comes in handy when you wanna differentiate different interactions and behaviors. If you have a success flow versus an error flow, you can differentiate them by using a green color for the success flow and an orange color for the error flow. Zeppelin also has a functionality where you can have a variant of the screen and you can group them together. So here, there is a search result version. So I actually wanna use that because this is a version of the same screen where I have the search result already filled in. So I'm gonna use this screen. They're going to search for a baklava. I'm gonna just move the screen. And as you move these screens, the arrows also move, so you don't have to manage these arrows and customize them every time you update a screen, which is really handy and it will save you a lot of time. You can also add a label by tapping on the arrow and clicking on the T. I'm gonna write taps on recommended search. Spread this out a little bit to give more space. I'm just gonna connect these really quickly. One of the things that I love about creating flows on Zeppelin is the ability to create subflows within a board. So I'm gonna show you what that means. I'm gonna click on all the screens that I wanna create a group for, and I'm gonna call it 
the wish list feature. When you have a bunch of screens on a board, it's hard to navigate through your file because you don't know how everything is organized. And once you create a group, this is gonna be the onboarding group, then you start to see how all these features live together. This is gonna be the market group. And this is the create flow. This is the checkup flow. And this is the delivery flow. It also helps you navigate through the file. I'm gonna click on wish list and I'm navigated directly to that group. You can also move these groups around and the screens will also follow. This is really going to help your team see the bigger picture and it's an effective way to show different scenarios of the same flow in a non-static way. You can also add permanent notes to each of the screens. So in my Figma file, I had a note here about this screen that a user can go back to the previous step by either tapping on the secondary button or the progress bar. So I wanna make that note on Zeppelin so I'm gonna go to that screen, double click on it. Once you're on the screen, you're gonna hold command and click on the element that you wanna make a note about. And I'm gonna copy and paste my note. You can also select the type of annotation this is. Is this a behavior, requirement, animation, API, or tracking? I'm gonna make this a behavior note because it's not really, well, it is a requirement, but requirement notes are slightly different. I'm gonna click on behavior and post. So now when an engineer is building on this, they're going to see that there is a little note that they need to be mindful of when building this out. Here's another example of how I'm using notes. I have a requirement about what to populate for recent searches. They should display three most frequent searches done in the last week, not include searches that return no results and be stored locally on device. You might be wondering, well, how do I know which details to include or exclude in my handoff file? The best way that I found is to have a lot of check-ins with your engineers where you're getting early feedback because engineers, when they see your designs, will ask clarifying questions or will point out things that are missing in your file. Then you can figure out which details are important for them to know and include them in your file. If you wanna learn my design process and how I design screens and approach problems, sign up for my monthly live streams using the link down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.